Hello, my name is Brad Natras. I'm the CEO of Urban Grow. Over the last two days, you've had the chance to meet with and see presentations from a lot of the industry's leading cultivators. Urban Grow provides a diversified investment opportunity for you to invest in a company that is working hand in hand with a lot of these cultivators to design and, and build out their facilities. We have 53 employees, we have strong revenues, and uh, after filing an S1 just approximately a year ago, we're about a month away from starting trading on the OTC QB. People ask, uh, Brad, what does a systems integrator do in the cannabis space? To answer that question and to uh, introduce you a little bit uh, at a more personal level to Urban Grow, I'm going to start with a video. Can you got it? Can you hear it? Okay. Urban Grow is a leading systems integrator and ag tech company focused on the global cannabis and horticultural markets. With top tier commercial cultivators located across North America and internationally. Early engagement with our MEP division builds consensus among stakeholders. Stamped CAD drawings optimize space utilization, improve product performance, and minimize implementation costs. For the systems that we sell, our project management teams coordinate with on-site contractors and trades to ensure proper installation. The owner's design intent is realized through our professional on-site commissioning services. All systems are reviewed and tested to ensure optimal performance. Our environmental services division ensures compliance with strict regulatory environments. Our Soleil technology solutions allow you to monitor and control the health of your crop in real time from anywhere in the world. And as a systems integrator in 2018, we provided design services to over 1.2 million square foot of canopy in the US and Canada and foreign countries in, in areas where there's legal markets, uh, both established and emerging. However, it's critical to reduce change orders, to reduce mistakes, to reduce the time it takes to get your product to market. It's critical to have the little details covered, little things like where do we put all the outlets? How, many, how much rebar? How much Unistrut do we need to purchase in order to hang all these lights? By doing comprehensive design services through Urban Grow, that is what we accomplished. Our plans, our layouts allow for that specificity in order to make sure that you have the most efficient, highest end system that can be put together today. Our goal is to provide the most efficient system for the cultivation of cannabis. Urban Grow is a turnkey systems integrator that is partnered with our customers throughout the life of their grow. From the early design stage, we're working with them from an MEP standpoint. Then we are recommending best-in-class systems. Once we sell those systems to the customer, we have our team go out and commission them to ensure that they're operating exactly like the manufacturer intended. After that is all complete, we have a division focused upon supply chain management and working with the customers to, to get best products at best value delivered uh, in a timely manner. Urban Grow's competitive advantage is the fact that we save our customers time, money, and resources. From a time standpoint, as opposed to having our customers go out and have to find different vendors, find different products, and then piecemeal their operation together, Urban Grow brings a integrated single point of contact solution. I like to refer to it as one neck to choke. If something goes wrong, they have one point of contact to talk to and we can make sure that we resolve the, the issues in a, in a timely manner. To learn more, visit urbangrow.com. It's urban-grow.com. So Urban Grow is a systems integrator and agriculture technologies company that 
that works hand in hand with some of the top cultivators in North America to design and build out their to design and uh, build out their industry leading facility at the same time focusing strongly on helping them lower the, the cost of production. We internally refer it to the life of the grow and it spans from capex and then also over into the opex side. To start with, it's a very, very key point when we put together a cultivation needs analysis with our customers. We are spending weeks in this process looking at what they want the facility to do when it's done and then we help them back into that facility. In stage two, we're handling the mechanical, the electrical, and the plumbing portion of their design. We are focusing on the insides, the inners of the facility, spending 200 to 1200 hours putting together uh, the flow of water through the facility, identifying the best climate, how air should move throughout the facility. And it's at those points that we're also putting our best-in-class systems into the plans best-in-class systems from manufacturers that our team of scientists has, has closely vetted. Then we have to sell something, of course, and so during the, the sales process, we not only sell the system to the facility, but we are on-site commissioning it. So we have a team of engineers that, oops, a team of engineers that goes on-site at the facility and commissions it. It could take two days, it can take two or three months, depending on the, the size of the facility. Our average facility right now that we're working on is about 75,000 square feet. The largest that we've uh, integrated is 300,000 square feet. Finally, after the, the system's up and running, we want to stay sticky with that customer. We want to focus on selling them uh, the consumables that they're using on a day-to-day -day basis, whether that be soil or integrated pest management solutions. And then you'll learn a little bit more about our technology solution shortly, but the technology is software and platform as a service. So it's subscription agreements spread over, over multiple years. So how we do this is we use a matrix sales model. Our sales team, they do not, they're not required. They're spread across North America. They're not required to be technical ex experts in horticulture or in cannabis. They're, they're A players, they're rainmakers, they know how to close, they know how to manage relationships. And they utilize our deep bench of systems engineers to go in and be that technical expert to help ensure that they don't jump down a rabbit hole, to ensure that they're earning the respect of the customer and how we can help them in the future. Our engineers, uh, mechanical controls, electrical engineers on staff, um, masters in horticulture, plant science, environmental sciences, we do not have any PhDs on staff today, but with a couple of the investments that we've made in other technology companies, we have uh, full access to them. We work with uh, the leading companies in cannabis cultivation. Uh, a lot of our customers are, are uh, MSOs, and as they grow to other states, they're bringing Urban Grow with them. Uh, same, same situation with, uh, with a lot of the, the uh, companies who are growing and going to other countries. They have a good experience with Urban Grow. We understand how they operate and how they want to, how they want to build out and scale their grows so they continue to, to partner with us during that stage. Cultivators engage Urban Grow for three key reasons. We save them time, money, and resources. From a time standpoint, we're a singular solution. There's, there's no need to go out to a dozen different manufacturers and try and find that best solution. Our scientists have already vetted out that solution. And when you're building out a facility, there's a lot of finger pointing going on. With a singular point of contact with Urban Grow, we ensure that there's one neck to choke, as I, as I mentioned earlier, because stuff will go wrong, but we'll be there to fix it for them. We have 500 plus facilities of combined experience in our, in our five years of operation, and uh, we help our customers avoid making mistakes. We've seen it all. We've seen good, and of course, we've seen bad. So, Proactively, we can help them uh, to make a difference and not make mistakes. From a, a money standpoint, you know, we're not, uh, as opposed to a facility, maybe buying one, two, or, or three systems. Urban Grow is buying hundreds of systems, so we have really strong purchasing power that we can pass on to, uh, to our customers. And finally, resources, expertise without adding to payroll. All of these uh, engineers and scientists that I've talked about our customers have access to them. Access, unfortunately, around the clock, but access to our engineers to help them uh, along the path. 
again, one single point of solution and we get uh, all three benefits. So systems integration is, is our strong foundation. It's what we built the company on. In 2019, we're focused on continued leadership in the North American marketplace, expansion to Latin America. Our other co-founder, Tavio Gutierrez from Mexico City, is uh, focused on those efforts. And we're also going to begin the transition to horticulture. Everything that we're doing is not cannabis specific. It's the same model that can be used in, in horticulture as well. But building on this strong systems integration foundation, exciting future of urban grow involves technology. And we've invest, investment spend in technology for two years and in 2019 we'll be making our first product launch. I'll tell you a little bit about it shortly. We're continuing to build out our technology team around a newly hired CTO and we'll also continue to invest in, in smaller um, startup ag tech companies. So in uh, 2019, the launch that we're going to be uh, executing is our Sole Sense. We invested in a company in California, Adiza. It is a um, high density wireless platform that allows the grower to see real time what's happening within his or her canopy. Adiza's technology is global leading and Urban Grow has a perpetual global uh, license to use their patent. It allows, uh, I like to think about it at, at a hockey game when you try and send a text message and your phone clogs up because it, uh, it just, the system shuts down too much activity. That won't happen with the Adiza technology. It, unlimited scalability and very, very energy, energy efficient. The wireless sensors can last for more than a year without having a battery change. But what it does is you place these wireless sensors within the canopy. It could be every 10 to 30 square feet, depending on the granularity that you're looking for. And every one to three minutes, it's pulling data back. It's sending data back. You're able to see the microclimates and how they're adjusting within that facility. It avoids, really as an insurance policy, avoids making big mistakes. Today, you look at a yield report, you figure out something went wrong, then you have to go back three months and figure out what went wrong so you can fix it. Our technology allows the grower to